Hello, N4H and H here with the FTDX 10 and the ICOM IC7300. I'm just taking advantage of an opportunity to uh, show the two radios in sideband receive with some not so great conditions. I'm going to enable digital noise reduction. Currently set at three. You hear that high pitch header down in there? Manual notch, 2570 hertz. <laughs> okay, while we wait, I'm going to move over to the 7300. Both radios are listening at 3 kilohertz bandwidth. Well, while we wait on somebody to talk, let me enable the digital noise reduction. And now, notch, set on narrow. Hmm. The yeah, ICOM not can't dunk it out. Let me try wide. Okay, now let me try narrow. That's weird. It's very low on the ICOM to find it. Okay, that's, that's about as good as it gets. Where do these guys go? Still got... Okay, there, there's somebody. Still got that high pitch in there. I think it's another one. Yeah, you gotta pick which one you wanna deal with. Go back to the Yesu. 
I had to turn. I have to turn the icon down. You hear that's the that's just the icon without the antenna. That's that inherent uh, amplifier noise. So one of my viewers explained that those those blips you see go across the screen there have to do with uh, what well, could be one of two things. Apparently, it's uh, something to do with a uh, weather tracking, and uh, they sweep those. There's another one. They sweep those across the amateur bands. Well, not just the amateur bands, but across HF. And also, it could be over the horizon radar. Running on the internal speaker, so I just boosted the uh, the bass gain on the uh, Yesu in the audio spectrum, the AF bass gain. Still hearing that high pitch from the icon. I turned it down. Just turn notch off. And no, no digital noise reduction. I turned on digital noise reduction and and the uh, notch again. Now, I'm going to show you a little something. I'm going to use contour. Now you can see on the screen that scoop. It knocks the highs down, yes. Uh, I'm using the default setting of negative 15 dB and 10 wide. It goes up to 11 wide. But the idea with the contour is, let me turn it, let me turn it back off. So you hear all the noise. It subdues the noise enough that you can hear their words better. The ICOM doesn't have that, but I can show you how to do it on the ICOM. You can somewhat simulate it. You just have to give up your manual notch. But I'll show you that in a minute. So again, no contour. And what you want to do is you want to sweep that 
And I find that generally somewhere between 1700 and 22 is the sweet spot. So you're sweeping that to where you're scooping the noise away from their voice. Um, but it'll, it'll generally be that you're knocking the noise down right next to where their voice is the most intelligible. Just, just sweep it until you see that little blip. Get up around 1700 and start listening. Okay, I've got a one, 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 one. When you can hear their voice the best. Now, let me show you how to do that on the ICOM right quick. You have to cheat a little bit with the icon because it doesn't actually have the contour control. But what you can do is you go to manual notch, which I have engaged. I'm just going to long press so I can adjust it. And I'm going to widen it, put it in the wide mode. Well, it was there. And when now the problem is we're going to get the heterodyne back because we don't have a contour here. So the notch is either going to help us with contour or it's going to help knock out that high squeal waiting on the weak station to come back It'd be a nice if the if ICOM would would have a contour control so we could still use our notch for notch. That's about the best I can find. Let's go back to the Yesu. So we have contour is separate. From, uh, from the notch. Notch is this knob here. The Yesu is not getting as much of that high pitched squeal anyway. But you can simulate contour somewhat on the icon by using a wide notch. And again, you're not going for hi-fi here. You're just trying to make the weaker station discernible. And usually for me, you know, when I'm chasing and I'm trying to grab that rare DX, uh, I, you know, it's a matter of me being able to tell what they said or not versus how good they sound. Okay, well, just wanted to show you that. Well, I had the opportunity. The use of a contour control, it's, uh, it's quite a nice uh, feature. You can go into the menu and adjust the width and the depth of that. You can make it less aggressive. It's pretty aggressive right now. It's on a width of 10, negative 15 cut. I'll turn it off. See the amount of noise it's subduing right there next to where his audio would be most intelligible. Still hearing the high pitch from the ICOM. I turned it down. It's inherent in the ICOM's audio amplifier because it's not even hooked up to an antenna right now. So here, contour level, negative 15. See, I can back it off a little bit. Or I can narrow it. Default is 10. Let's try 9. So I'm, I'm, in other words, I'm not allowing it to affect as wide or as broad of a portion of the 
audio spectrum there. No contour. Now there's that noise. See, I've, I've got a separate knot, so the knots can take care of the high pitch while the contour takes care of the noise that might be right next to where their voice would be the most intelligible. Okay, neither. There's notch. There's contour. So, you know, you just sacrifice a little bit of fidelity to be able to pull them out and hear what they're saying. Okay, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. And again, on the ICOM, don't forget, you can use the the notch, set it wide to simulate the contour control on the Yesu. It's just that you give up being able to have both a notch uh, and a contour at the same time. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Maybe, uh, I don't know, there's been so many of these sold. I don't know that ICOM would ever try to venture into putting a contour control in the radio. And I wish they would do something about this high-end squeal. You know, you could address that with some shelving in here. If you, I guess if you go in there, and when I've shown that in a previous video. But that's uh, that to me is an unfortunate uh, artifact in the uh, in the uh, ICOM. But you know, both radios are quite good. You know, casual operating. This is a great radio. Uh, DX chasing and uh, contesting. The definitely the FT DX10. Um, is the is the beast on that okay hey thanks for watching and thank you patreons for helping me keep the uh, channel going i hope you like the content just uh learning our way around the radios learning how to combine various features and um you know attack different situations so we can try to pull out the weak ones all right um hey thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe uh, like the video if you will and of course if you click the bell uh, you'll be notified when i upload another video 73 from n4 h and h